Um, today I'm here seeking further assistance in relation to the murder of Geoffrey McLean. Um, Geoffrey had been dismembered uh, following his murder and we located his torso in a wheelie bin in a vacant block at 23 Sheriff Road, Salisbury South on the 24th of October last year. Um, we still at this stage have not been able to locate his head and limbs and our efforts are still firmly focused on identifying where his remains are and also identifying those persons responsible for his murder. Geoffrey was last seen on the afternoon of 18th of August 2022. Uh, I stated previously that he was the victim of four violent attacks at his home address. Um, those violent attacks occurred between 10 April 2022 and the 10th of May 2022. We now believe that those brutal attacks are directly linked to his murder. To date, we've had 14 calls to Crime Stoppers, uh, with some of that information being of great assistance from the public. Specifically, though, I wish to make an appeal to a person that called Crime Stoppers shortly after the discovery of Jeffrey's body. That person has provided accurate and credible information uh, that we deem is very, very reliable. We're seeking that person to contact Crime Stoppers and speak to members of Major Crime Investigation Branch because the information that was provided not only linked related to his murder, but also related to previous offences of violence against Jeffrey. We believe that the information, if we can speak to that caller further, uh, with some further detail, will go a great way, uh, go a long way to solving um, the murder and assisting the investigation. So I asked that person if they can contact Crime Stoppers today or this evening and speak to investigators at Major Crime. What I will say is that that person can still remain anonymous, um, but we really would like to speak to them. I cannot impress enough how important the information is and that the quality of the information is, has, that has been provided. We've done extensive work around the scene where Jeffrey's remains were located, um, in specifically analysis of CCTV. What we've identified is that at about 4.45 a.m. on the 24th of August, 2022, uh, CCTV from a nearby commercial premises shows um, from a distance what appears to be two people entering the area where Jeffrey's remains were located and that those people have either got torches or have headlamps on. They're acting suspiciously and we believe they enter directly into the area where his remains were located. We would like to seek to identify those persons and actually identify what their role is in Jeffrey's murder or knowledge of his murder. In relation to the scene at where, well, sorry, in relation to the scene where Jeffrey was located in the Willie bin, we can tell you that the ground was disturbed at that location and that it appeared that persons had, or people had tried to bury uh, Jeffrey there and they ab abandoned their attempts either because the ground was too hard or they were disturbed on that day. We believe that they've attended that location on at least one occasion, but probably more than one occasion. And at that location, we'll provide photographs today, we located two shovels, a post hole digger, and a gardening fork. Those tools, a number of them were in relatively new condition. We, we are aware that they would have aged due to the weather that was that, that had occurred at the time they had been out in the open. But we're now canvassing all businesses in the northern suburbs to identify who stocks those items and whether any of those items have been purchased prior to or after Jeffrey's death. As I said, um, we believe that there's more than one person involved in Jeffrey's murder and the disposal of his body. To date, the investigation is progressing extremely well, um, and I'm confident that we will hold those responsible for Jeffrey's uh, brutal murder to account. So what are we seeking today? I'm seeking the caller from Crime Stoppers to recontact police. I cannot stress the importance that we require some further detail, and I ask that person to contact us and speak to major crime detectives today. And I also ask anybody that has knowledge of the events leading up to Jeffrey's death, in particular the offence of violence, or has any information in relation to his murder, to contact Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000. I'll now take any questions. When did the person call you in relation to this moment of this call happened? Um, they, the person called us after the location of his body. I can't, I won't tell you exactly when.
So at the location there were two shovels, a post hole digger and a gardening fork. Uh, as I said, the ground had been disturbed and it appears that they were going to make an attempt to bury Jeffrey's torso at that location. It's extremely difficult though to say whether it was too difficult because of the uh, terrain and the ground there or whether they were disturbed. The CCTV on the 20th of August, did you say? 24. 24. Were they coming back to the scene? Was Jeffrey's torso already there? Or were they dumping it in that vision, do you think? It's unknown. Um, we'll show you a map of where the vision is. Mm. All you can see is what appears to be two headlamps or two torches entering into the paddock and acting suspiciously. Obviously at 4.45 a.m. in the morning, it's unusual for people to be entering a, an allotment like that. Mm -hmm. And had you, on the vision, have you seen them again on the vision or is that the only time you see them? At this stage, this will be the only vision that we're releasing. Um, and as I said, extensive CCTV analysis has occurred around those locations. Um, and just how hard is that task? to sift through all of that CCTV? Yeah, with any of these investigations, we're very, very dedicated investigators um, that put in a lot of time and they obviously seek to get answers uh, for the, the deceased and the victims and also their families. So they work extremely hard and very diligently to obtain whatever evidence they can that can progress these investigations. And you spoke about the four attacks that happened on Jeffrey prior to his death. Have you been able to speak to the people responsible for that and are they cooperating? What I'll say is those brutal and violent attacks on Jeffrey are directly related to his murder, but they're currently before the courts, some of them, so I won't be coming to that early stage. So that obviously meant you have some suspects, two suspects. Um, we have a number of persons of interest in this investigation. As said, uh, the investigation is progressing very well and I'm confident um, that with, with, with some further public assistance that we will bring and hold those to account that have uh, murdered Jeffrey. And how much closer are you to conducting a search for the rest of his remains? Are you in finding a location for that? Yeah. Th those inquiries are ongoing um, and it may be that, as I said, there are people that are fully aware of what's occurred in the previous offences, and there's also, we believe there are people that are aware you know, in relation to the circumstance around his murder. And that's why we're here again today, seeking further public assistance, because we only need that small bit of information that can then help us locate the rest of his remains to return to his family. How close are you to um, locating a, a murder scene? And is there any suggestion that all of him is brought to that and maybe that area? And some yeah. uh, for operational reasons at this stage, I won't comment on where we believe he was murdered and brought his family. Would you say it was close to where he was found? I don't want to comment on that at this stage. Have these people picked this area at random, that empty block? Um, or might, do they have some sort of connection to it? it it's hard to say. It's, it was obviously when we recovered his remains. Um, near the vacant block, it was overgrown. It was some way off the road where the trees were. Um, it could be people that have knowledge of the area, and that's why they chose that, or people could have just identified it. That's an area that's sort of secreted off the main roadway, and it gives them that cover to do what they need to do. What about motive? Are you, you don't have to tell us what you believe that is, but are you, do you think you know why? Um, we keep an open mind, but at this stage, with the way the investigation progresses, we do believe we know what the motive is. Um, what I can say is, we do not believe that motive is drug related. And you ruled out, you have previously ruled out debt, is that correct? Um, as I said, we, uh, we believe we have an idea of what the motive is, but at this stage, because the investigation is ongoing, I don't know.